A bison jam. <laughs> yes, a buffalo jam. A bison jam. Crazy. Nice bed. Oh my god, look at this bathroom. This is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. This is how to stay in Yellowstone. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh. Bathrooms. How about the views? It's crazy. And we finally got a sunny day. That lake is the nicest lake I've ever seen. It is. It is the nicest lake I've ever seen. It's and so crazy. We said when we took where we were taking the Wild West road trip, we were like, the Yellowstone's gonna like change us in a way because it's gonna be the most beautiful thing that we've ever seen. And it didn't disappoint at all. No. We haven't even got to the Grand Tetons yet. I know. And we spent one day in Yellowstone and I've already like seeing that bison so close up this morning where you could like touch it. Yeah, we and, could have touched it. Obviously yeah. we weren't going to, but And <laughs> then like a lot of people don't ever see a bear like yeah. an, uh, like a real bear in the wild their whole life. And we just said yesterday like, yeah. you know what? We're going to see a bear today and sure enough like Yeah. And halfway through the day we see a bear um, I don't know if we said yesterday as well but you can tell when it's something worth stopping for because people are all looking in the same direction yep. like focused like crazy yeah if so it's something if it's like a bison that's a more common the people, people will be like there but they'll, they'll be like around. taking pictures and stuff but when it's like a when it's like a bear you better put that blue oh, seat out <laughs> when it's heck? like a bear I mean people are oh so it's lake area yeah we're gonna go right we just went from like the bluest sky sunny day to like misty, creepy, scary movie. Yeah. It's so weird. Yep. And we drove like 10 minutes. I've never been in any place like this. So that whole time of driving from Old Faithful over to here, we were driving, I, I guess it was Lake Yellowstone. And then we like come up on this road and we're like, what is that lake out there? Yeah. But it's all the same. This, this lake is so big. It's massive. It's not squishy. You're saying it's not squishy, but I can see that it is. Yeah, I'll wait for him to come look, up. Look, so I just don't want to slip. Oh, look. Whoa, babe, look to the right. Whoa, yellow. Lake Yellowstone, hotel and cabins. Oh, look at the cabins, too. Yeah. So when I was booking all this stuff, you have to be careful because some of the rooms don't have their own bathroom. Obviously that doesn't matter to some people, but it matters to me. So yeah. <laughs> you have to be careful and make sure it says that it comes with a bathroom and it's not shared. Whoa, this is a crazy old building too. It is wild. With snow. Snow? Yeah. I thought that was a rock. Look at that. Holy smokes. You're parking in the snow. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wait, we gotta hit the snow. All right, we're on the snow. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, we're gonna hit the oh. snow. <laughs> all right, so we made a quick little stop just to get all checked in. This is where we're gonna stay later. Don't wanna show too much of it because we'll be having plenty of time there. So getting on the road. We are coming from Old Faithful. We stopped over at the lake. Um, so Lake Yellowstone is where we're staying. So from Lake Village, we're heading up the Canyon Village and the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone is up here so that's the first stop we kind of want to check that out on the way wildlife watching and boom look at that what do you, think? you see it it's huge oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Okay. He's kind of scary. Yeah, he is. <laughs> oh yeah, turn to the side. That's that profile, I love that. Yeah. Is he doing blobs? No, oh, you're not. Birds. I'll know why he'll smell it. I seen, no, I seen him do one this morning and it was basically like turning a fire hose on. <laughs> he liked it. <laughs> oh my God, what That's a beautiful so creature. Pretty. I think they might be my fave. 
Fluffy cows. Fluffy cows. The cauldron of sulfur. The egg cauldron. Yeah. Oh, that one's really boiling over there. It is so smelly. Kayla said after this trip, she wants to get a cabin in the woods. Maybe not a cabin. <laughs> Maybe a normal house in with, the woods. With no plumbing. <laughs> no, I don't want that. No hot water, no, no. plumbing. Watch out, you're going to fall down a ditch. Kaylee's first baby elk. This is crazy. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh my God, he's running, guys. He's running. Peter. Peter. There's a, there's a cow elk and a calf down here. Running across. Oh my god, that is the cutest. Literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, Somebody wants to share these. Here. It's like they put on a show sometimes. Yeah. Like they know that we're watching. <laughs> yeah, if anybody wants these too, seriously. I'm hugging them. Well, they're going quick. Yeah, there's wow. only one buddy on this side. This is incredible. Now, what a view. You got everything. So, yeah. my, for these guys, I would get on the other side of the road because they're all going to come over to us. They're all starting to come over now. Are you allowed to cross over? Yeah. I guess there's people right next to them. They'll probably get them first, right? Well, the ranger's there. Yeah. Well, he's walking away. Scared? <laughs> Scary, right? They're so massive. They're so big. There's one running. <gasps> That's a baby. That does look like a baby. Wow. A bison jam. <laughs> yes, a big buffalo jam. Bison jam. Crazy. So this is what they talk about the bison jams. So they're really slow moving, but they're not even straight crossing the road. They're just more long. They're like walking on the road. All the park rangers push them now off the, the road. Now the ranger will come behind and kind of move them along to clear up the jam. Ma, you see the ranger like kind of moving them along? So we've heard about these earth roamers and uh, I've never seen so many, but inside Yellowstone, there's a lot of them. Pretty badass. We're heading up to the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. <clears throat> This spot is very, very, very beautiful. Incredible. Took my breath away. Took my breath away. Just like my sweetie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> through the bush. Walking through the bush. Good thing you got your boots. Good thing I got my boot test. Yeah. Trainers got a little wet yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So where are we at? So we are here on the Upper Falls okay. viewpoint. So this is, that's a must. That viewpoint yeah, is that a must. Really that's what great. we just saw. They're really so now, nice falls. Instead of doing all these hikes, we're going to go down because they just take so long. We want to see everything. We're going to go back down South Rim Drive and then turn right at the lake, come back up here 
and then say brink yeah. of the upper so, falls so this is where all the people were standing that yes. we could see across the water from so that's where we're heading next yeah all right on the move let's do it and there's our ride i've mistaken so many rocks for bears already Ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to see this. Same. So that's that's where we were at the overlook. This is which one? The upper? This is the upper basin. Yeah, upper basin, and then we're gonna head over to the lower. And this is the North Rim Trail we're walking. I don't know what it is, but we're getting so lucky. There's nobody here. So it kind of comes in waves. There'll be like a tour bus, they'll take off, and then you got it all to yourself. Wow. We got it all to ourselves. I know. <laughs> Check this out. Careful, you. Get out of there. <laughs> Australia and Montana, that's the difference. <laughs> Both so cute. <laughs> Protection from the snakes. More just fashion. Sort of. <laughs> More just cute boots. pretty cool well, there's like a little waterfall too. underneath the ice there and then the stairs scary yeah whoa yeah <laughs> it does that must be the 12 mile yeah. hike crazy how's that view how's that view very good <laughs> <laughs> hey you said i can't use the mic like that <laughs> what are you doing all right so we're just working our way down the north rim and this should be the best, one of the best, but possibly the best view we've had so far. On the move. Here. No, where are we at? What? Grand oh, the Grand View. view. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. 
10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Best so far? Not the best so far, the last one. I still, For I me, I say Grand V. You like that one best? Yep. <laughs> Incredible. I like the waterfall one. I like the raven fly. Yeah, the raven. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, my legs are literally shaking. I don't know if it's uh, showing up on camera, but they just went into jelly. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Glacial boulder. Yeah. this one inspiration point inspiration point 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 I'm inspired the views just keep getting better and better every time we're like oh this is definitely the best one yep. and then you stop again and then this is the best Absolutely. one <laughs> all right so just fueling up at the Canyon Village service station and we'll check out inside once we're topped off and they do a firewood if anyone's curious All right, back on the move. No, no. When we never use them, we put the money back? No, you no. don't get your money back. All right, so quick pit stop at Canyon Village. The ladies say the uh, toilets are. Facilities were cleanish. Cleanish. Better than the porta potties. Better than the porta potties. And there's a visitor center here. There's the restrooms. They also have a, looks like a restaurant in the back there. Maybe another one. Grocery store. We're gonna grab a little snack, some coffee. Oh, it is the lodge, babe. Canyon Lodge. Yeah. It's the dining room. Oh, Canyon Lodge dining room, okay. We came in through the west. Yep. We did that this was yesterday. whole loop yesterday. Yep. Actually, we went that way around. Yep. And then today we went from Old Faithful to the Lake Village, yep. dropped off the car, went to the canyon, and then this is where we are now. So we're going to go yep. and then come back home. Sounds good. But we just had to do a, a quick stop, but yeah, there's the model right there. Yeah, we had to do a quick stop for some warts and some coffees. 
A 30 by 45 mile depression in the center of the park. The Yellowstone volcano is harder to see than more typical cone shaped volcanoes. There's too much to see, but the visitor center is really cool. Um, they had like, oh, <laughs> all kinds of goodies in there. So we're heading to the grocery store. These little cuties have ranger outfits. So cute. <clears throat> Open. I mean, closed. Thank Damn goodness. <laughs> Chef Kaylee here is cooking up some hot dogs. <laughs> Just a quick snack. <laughs> you know I love a hot dog. So when the woman in there had a very heavy accent and I subconsciously when I she heard you do that. Yeah, I was when like, you she checked not. this out, she's like, um, what did she do say? Do you want your receipt? She's like, you want your receipt? I was like, I sure do. I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we grabbed a few waters, a pack of gum, two coffees, mom and Peter in the car, and we're all gonna split some hot dogs because we got plenty of cheese and cracks. Yeah. So in Canyon Village, the only water they have is these big guys, and they're four dollars, which isn't too bad. It's picnic day two. Oh, Chuck Audrey, day two. Sugar in the How's the view? It's not good. <laughs> not good, she says. Spoiled. While they're all stopping there, we'll go find the grizzly. Whoa. Incredible. We'll probably be able to see that actually around this bend. Look at this wall up here. I think there's a pull out. Yeah, 
sure. First mountain goats. Oh, don't look up too quickly. Whoa. Oh, yeah, Nearly fell careful. backwards. Whoa. How's them goats? Goats. <laughs> I just had to put my hair on top of my head because I was getting a headache. I don't know what's going on up here. Hey, get my shoulders. Are they moving? It's a black bear and the cub is in a tree. I don't know where you can park, but if you can. See it? Oh, yeah. Look in the tree. Yep. There's cub. Yep. Oh, my God. There's two in the tree. Did you see those two in the tree? Yeah, so see that one with his leg hanging. Yeah, you see his leg hanging. The leg is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I've so folks, I need you to take a look at where your car is parked. And if not all four wheels are off the white line, we're going to need you to move your vehicle. Make sure you're parked all the way off the road. I like how his feet are just kind of like... I know, that's so cute. This one. This one's funny, the one with his feet just kind of hanging, just like... With his legs dangling down. Oh my god, look how cute he is. He's like sleeping. Alright, should we head, should we head to mom? Yeah, let's go find her. Right, so we're heading out, but mama with two cubs in the tree. Kaylee says it's the cutest thing she's ever seen in her life. No, only the top Especially one. Especially this top one. <laughs> that top one, I just want to take it. So we had our first bison jam this morning, and this is a bear jam. Yeah. But we've already got to see the bear. We're just heading back down the mountain. Yeah. So today was a success over and over and over again. The old Roosevelt Corral. Should I turn in here? Yeah, sure. It's like chug water where Lizzie's yes, running into yes. That's a brown bear sleeping. The brown bear. Look at look how brown it is, you big head. They are so cute. Oh my god. Is it the cutest thing ever? That's a that's a baby too and that's massive. You wanna put this try? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Oh my gosh. Don't <laughs> Oh it's a cinnamon. Oh, damn it. Damn it. I thought it was a brown. Hobbs in front of it asleep.
that a brown bear or a black bear? It was a cinnamon brown black bear. And that was brown a brown black. Bear. So everyone's <laughs> saying that brown. everyone's saying that that is a cinnamon black bear, but if you have ever seen a bear before, let us know what that was, because to me, that was we a brown bear. We just saw black bears, and they were like half the size and way like yeah. different. Yeah. Big elk out there. Oh, let's right, see. On the move. All right, so wow. the consensus on that, was that a black bear or a brown bear? It was not a black bear. I it think was it was bear. not a black bear. It was Too a baby many shades grizz. of brown to be a black bear, I think. I agree with you. I think it was a baby grizz or a baby brown bear because it was definitely a baby. Yep. Yeah. Right. And it had a lump on the back, but I don't know if you can really have a tell hump? that. Yes. It's just so it back. wasn't like a huge hump, but it did have a little bit of a hump. Yeah. yeah. And after just seeing the black bears... Yeah. It's like two seconds ago, it's a completely different looking bear. Yeah, they yeah. did right. look so, really yeah. different. Okay. So, but again, I guess so four, cute. four out of four, brown bear slash grizzly bear. How can something be so cute and also scary at the same time? <laughs> I just don't know. Looks like we got Ooh, mammoth yeah. in the distance there. And, and the this hotel. bridge is for Gardner River. And there's the hotels. I'll start looking for elks. <laughs> Whoa. This is like... Broken bridge. Oh my gosh, this is scary. Whoa. So you could keep going now. There's an elk right there in the road. Do you see the elk? There's the babies. Oh my god, there's babies. Yes. Oh, Kaylee. Look at these guys. Give me the Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so small. The baby's right there. The mom is right there saying, like, what are you doing? Oh, jeez, I missed that. <laughs> I didn't even see him. Wow. Yeah, so we're like in... Look at that beautiful old church. So. Oh, this is where you're saying they come up on the porches. Yeah, they just stuff. like hang out oh, yeah. and go right in the backyard. Then you will want to Come really, really want to walk around. So gifts, and they probably have bathrooms somewhere, I'm not sure. It's a nice dining room. Terrace grill. Fast Yesterday we did the Southern Loop. Today we started at Old Faithful, got to our Yellowstone Lake where we're staying at the inn over there, drove up through Canyon Village and Tower Roosevelt. This was where we saw both of the bear sightings, right in this area, after Tower Roosevelt. And then we just hit Mammoth Hot Springs. Now we're working our way down to Norris. We're gonna head back to Canyon Village and then down and finish off at the lake for dinner. Slow. It's 
so pretty. Like it obviously knows that we're here. It's so peaceful still. Now one of the short legged bison. Mammoth and we were coming down I think in between Mammoth and Norris about halfway is where we saw our, our first ever grizzly bear with three cubs. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. So we're currently at Canyon Village working our way back to the lake and that's where we're going to be having dinner and staying tonight. So we'll see you over there. Made it back to Lake Yellowstone Hotel and we're in room 334. We're just gonna leave the bags out here till we're done. Some yeah. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my god, this is nice. It is. Wow. That's <laughs> Nice. 
Want to have a coffee? All right, what do we have? Coffee, same as the other place. Yep. Same glasses. Teacups. We can go through that later. Okay. Uh, what's over here? Just empty, probably. Yep. Bible. Alarm okay. clock. Whoa, look at that view. Nice bed. Oh my God, look at this bathroom. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. This is how to stay in Yellowstone. Hell, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Bathrobes. So we have the same cute little bear soap as the Old Faithful. Yep. But we have sunscreen and lotion, Ooh. which is different. Fancy. What do we got down there? Look, little face scrubbers. Nice. We have toilet roll and Kleenex. Okay. Uh, nice towels. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Let me check this water pressure for okay. you. Okay. I know that's your next question. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's better. That's really good. I shouldn't be comparing Seven. We'll go with a seven on that one, but yeah. Yeah. Nice and clean. Really, All right. really good. What's we next? We have a wonky towel rack. Oh, a little bit wonky, but we'll take that. We'll take it. All right. And Wardrobe. That's about it. We've got one of these again. That seems to be a theme. Yep. The other side, and there's luggage thing as well. Okay. What do we got in there? Same fan. Fan, iron, safe at the bottom. Okay. Uh, extra blanket. So we didn't have a safe. Oh, there's an extra one of these. We didn't have a safe in the last one. So yeah, that's we didn't a... have a safe in the old faithful. Yep. And we only had one of the luggage little things. Okay, so that's handy, two of them. Look at this. I didn't realize. I saw this in old faithful, but I didn't shut. How Laundry. Nice. So Zantera, so that's the company that's running all this yeah. stuff, okay? Well, you did a good job with this one. And all right. No, nope, waiting for you. Oh. I want you to see it first. I got a glimpse when we walk by. This is the third floor, and it goes up to level four. Yep. Uh, this is pretty damn cool. I like that we have this little grassy area in front. Yeah. Because apparently there's meant to be elk here. Yep. Insane. And you have to stay 300 yards away. I know, 100 yards away. Look at all the geese out there. I know, I see. All right. Happy with this one? Happy with this one. All right. We are going to get cleaned up for dinner, and we'll see you downstairs. <laughs> so 7.09, dinner's at 7.15, so yep. we have one minute left. So we, it was perfect. Um, we don't feel rushed tonight, and yeah. we feel clean yeah. because this hotel is awesome. I love it here already. Um, yeah, you can tell when you're in a good hotel room by how like clean you feel after you have a shower and like get ready to go out. Yep. And it's actually really nice. I'm really impressed. And they don't just have a buffet here. They have dinner. So Thank we'll see God. what that's all about. Also, they have makeup wipes in the bathroom. Just thought it's really Yes. Them. And they have a full bar so here outside of the restaurant. So we'll we're going to have drink. Yeah. Drinks tonight. Dinner. We'll see you downstairs. Dinner. Dinner time. I'm actually excited for this. I'm thing. excited for this soon. We'll see. And some wine. And some wine. And some local sites. And some what? And some local beers. Local like sites. Oh, nice. My boots are a bit
They look good. Okay. Yep. These are awesome. And that sauce is great. Dip the bread. And my mother is vlogging. I'm panning. I'm panning. Mint. It looks like basil. I think it is basil. Basil. Is it? Basil on the dessert. <laughs> I think they thought it was a mint leaf. <laughs> it actually is basil. Lake Yellowstone versus Old Faithful. You can't Yeah, this is the spot to stay if you're inside of Yellowstone. That's from a bison a couple of years ago. Wow, incredible! Thank you. Uh -huh. A little tip, which we're finding out now. So that is <laughs> Mom and Peter's room there. The double light, just a and that's there. ours right there. So oh gosh, if you're exposed. Yeah. Swanning around naked. <laughs> You're putting on a show for Yellowstone. <laughs> So the, uh, the deli opens at 6.30 for coffee, but in the meantime, we'll see what it looks like outside. <laughs> so morning time at the uh, Lake Yellowstone Hotel. Looks really pretty in the morning. And there's the Lake Yellowstone cab over there. Go check out the lake. You can see all the tracks down there. Looks like a lot of elk tracks. Looking for some trout. A couple ducks down there. Kaylee's favorite, some ducks.
next thing I'm coming up on here on my walk is Yellowstone Lake Village General Store. And we're just gonna follow this around. So I think this road goes in a loop. We drove a little of it yesterday. And this will take you to the cabins. And I did want to see those uh, on the move. So coming up here in the cabins. Pretty cool. So on my walk this morning, I was just following this trail. And there's a elk, looks like a female, small female. And just to show you where I'm at, those are the cabins. And that's the hotel. But I just think it's so cool how the wildlife, like you're in their home. So they're just kind of hanging out. So many birds, I think they live up in the roof. Over there too. So I ran down this morning to get a, a cappuccino for Kaylee and I. And when I got back to the room, uh, my mom left us two lattes. So we got extra coffee and a nice little card. Oh, it's so in the one that I like, that one. It's like paper, curled up. Remember I was like, do we have any occasions that I can get this card for? <laughs> Mm, do we have any occasions coming up that I can buy this card for some? <laughs> ah, that's cool. cute. Where are we heading? Heading to breakfast. Breakfast. I think they got a breakfast buffet. Yeah. I think it'll be way better than the last one we had. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the move. Good, Good morning. Hey. Are you Sally? Are you Sally? <laughs> What's that little? That's for makeup? Yeah, all just like my bits, you know, yeah. all my bags that I have. And I got the Grizz keychain. So now I have a Montana and a Grizzly keychain. <laughs> Guys, we didn't get you anything. No, no. Are you kidding? You didn't get us anything. I just know how to the hotel for four nights. Oh, wow. What's that for jewelry? It's the Grand, Grand Prismatic Spring. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Oh God, thank you so much. All right, what do we got there? Uh, we got a buzzer. We're just waiting for the dining room. Yep. So we uh, we didn't have reservation for the breakfast buffet. We just came down. They said it's about a 45 minute wait. Yeah. And they stopped serving at 10. It's good to note because then we could have checked in 45 minutes earlier and gone straight in. But yeah. <laughs> the more you know. The more you know. And this is the, yeah, this is the sunroom that we're in. And there's the view. Number 32, where next?
Jerky so good it's in a suitcase. <laughs> nice gift shop. Yeah, really nice. Mugs. Mugs. So that's exactly what we saw yesterday. Yeah. Three of them. Baby Grizz. And you can tell it's the Grizz with the hump on the back. That's what the experts told us. That's what the experts <laughs> told us. So two of these, two of these guys in a tree dangling their legs. Yeah. But real. <laughs> yeah, the way they dangle their legs is awesome. I just wanted to take them. They were so cute. Yeah, they were. Don't throw them. Back. <laughs> Some martini glasses, some margarita glasses that match Kaylee's bed. Mom got her. get in <laughs> coming off the elevators on the third floor hallway to the rooms and then you have this nice viewing area here a cool little touch in the room is these uh, glasses that they give you are recycled wine bottles pretty sweet yesterday but there's a hair dryer as well it's just like behind the door oh yeah <laughs> yeah there is. Find it. so what do you think about the stay uh, i actually really loved it i would definitely stay here again yes i think this is a spot to stay if you're in the park yeah. um old faithful is cool again i would recommend that for one time just to experience like the log cabin we didn't make it up to the crow's nest which i think would be like kind of the best part of staying there yeah. but this was awesome i mean I would say if I was in the park and I could afford to do four or five days, I would stay here the whole time. Definitely. Yeah, the and view. Central location as well for both of the loops. You're like not too far down and not too far up. Yep. So. Yeah, and the view with the meals was fantastic, and obviously the the view with the room, but. Yeah. Yeah, loved it. Absolutely loved it. And vending. Ice. ATM. Snacks soda and you can fill up your water bottles there <laughs> oh man that's great <laughs> Back in the car and on the move. So leaving Lake Yellowstone, heading to the Grand Tetons. Great stay. Great stay, yep. And great time with my mom and Peter. They just yeah. took off. They're heading back to Montana. Awesome. Um, yeah, it was pretty much like we were on a double date for five days. Yeah, I never met them before, and it was like we knew each other forever. So yep. that was good. And Peter was a personal tour guide. Yeah, he So the whole so trip, he was just, he'd be like, Jason, did you know? Yeah. And just would give you facts as we were driving. So any facts we've been giving you, that's where they came from. Yeah. We didn't do any research. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, it was just great to see my mom. I haven't seen her in about six years. So yeah, uh, I really needed that. And uh, yeah, it was, just, it was just a great trip with those two guys. It uh, was. Yeah, it's just what I needed. Um, and my sisters too. Getting to see my sisters uh, yeah. was great. Lindsay and Amy. That was such a nice surprise. If you guys are watching, great to see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on the road now heading to the grand tetons yeah and we're just going to take it slow it's 11 o'clock check-ins at three so five days of the trip left five days left and lots of wildlife coming today i feel it <laughs> all right navigator where are we heading all right um so this is us here at lake village uh the first day we did this actually the first day we did this and then the second day yesterday we did this yep so now we're going from lake village down to west thumb 
and then all the way down to the Grand Teton National Park and then we'll switch to the Grand Teton map. Sounds good. Um, wish me luck navigating this because <laughs> I have no idea. One road, we'll be all right. <laughs> oh, and look what Peter left us and my mom. Yeah, we're just gonna ship them back, but he left us his nice fancy binoculars. <laughs> nice. Oh, we can see the moose maybe. Yeah. Oh no, wait, elk. they called elk. <laughs> Wildlife expert here. The facts are going to get way worse now that Peter's left. Yeah, uh, yeah, the facts are gone now. Now I just be making shit up. Yeah. All right, on the move. All right, so I don't know if anyone has a rear view mirror like that, but it's like a camera. It's a camera, but it's also got like I'm like looking at the mountains in the back and the trees, and it's like I think it's pretty sweet. Yeah, this is a really good car. We got so lucky. We did. All right, what's this? All right. Bridge so, Bay area. Yeah. Right. I so, wish we could do all these turn-offs, but we just, we just can't. But I will say, <laughs> if you go for a rental car and you're looking for a big SUV, like a comfy SUV, so my recommendation, because we went through a lot, if you can get yourself a Buick Enclave, yeah, this, this is car crazy. is so good. Oh, look at that. Marina. Green. So much to see. Grand Teton, look! 27 miles. Oh, so this is going to be a really quick drive. Yeah, right? this, totally oh. stop a couple of So miles. we are taking a left into Grant Village and we're going to get some coffee. So we, we've we had coffee every day here, but I feel like we just haven't had enough because every coffee we get, like even at breakfast today, it was like this little tiny teacup and like the waitress never came back. Honestly, I don't think we had good coffee since Seattle, if I'm being honest. Like it was, it was okay everywhere, yeah. but Seattle yeah. like Seattle kind just of blew like it shit on every yeah. Seattle's <laughs> had some good ass coffee. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Meet me. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's two service station to the <laughs> left. Oh my goodness! Yeah. All right, you know what? Before the general store, let's. Oh my god! Up. I'm not recording. Just give me just <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Alright, so we're gonna hit up the service station real quick. Oh, are you still recording? Yeah. So yesterday, I know you guys won't believe me, but yesterday I got like a National Geographic footage of an elk and, and an baby. elk baby. They basically were down in the valley and I saw them, they wanted to go up the hill. So we like turned the car around. I was like, they're gonna go up over there. And it like worked out perfect. Like I was a hunter and they ran up the hill and they came across the road right in front of the car. I started filming them and as soon as they got done, I realized I hadn't hit record. Yeah, I can confirm that did happen. And yeah. we do have videos of them. Yeah. They're just not Well, Kaylee handed perfect. me the phone and it was already recording. So when I got it, I just hit stop. Don't you blame this on me. We'll wrap back. Filling up the Buick. Yeah, you're in charge of the case. Uh, I can't yeah. believe the response. Yeah. Yep. All right. Brief stop. And if we didn't say already, got some winter wear food, and he's like, "You want a paper funnel?" Yeah. It's pretty nice. We had to fill up twice for the window washer. Yeah. Alright, let me pop the hood. Fill her up, Nancy. Will the whole thing go in? Yep. You sure? Positive. If this spills. You can pour it faster. It's like a shave ice comb. <laughs> like a blue bear shave ice. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Problem, sir. That'll be $5. <laughs> all right, so the service station's over there. They'll have a uh, auto repair if you have any car trouble. And then all your gas, ice, firewood, stuff like that. We're going to grab some coffee in here. They have coffee. Somebody already had three coffees today, but wants another one. <laughs> oh, look how cute. It's a magnet. What the very need? Don't even think of it. Coffee? How is it? Coffee? <laughs> Don't even think of it. Don't even think of it. Well, it did. <laughs> All right. Granted homes. Home for the granted. Oh my god! Isn't that what they're named after? <laughs> I think they're named after Big Breast. <laughs> yeah. 
I think that's actually what Grand Teton is. Don't quote us there. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this is just so incredible. <laughs> it, it makes your legs weak, doesn't it? Yeah, but I don't know if that's that or the altitude. No, I think it's the, the view. Just knowing like if you fell down it. All right, so I think we're getting our first glimpse of the Tatans. <laughs> we know it's Grand Tetons, but we call them Tatans. What do you reckon? I don't know. You think that's it? Well, we're going in the south direction, so I'm assuming that that's them, but I just don't know. Wow. I, I can't judge distance without a GPS. Yeah. <laughs> so where we just were was 8,000 feet, and you could really feel it. And we're trying to figure out, so when you walk up to the edge of the cliffs and stuff, or you get like a really good view, a lookout point. When you walk up to the edge, your legs go kind of like jelly. But we don't know if that's because of like the height and the fear or if it's because of the elevation and it's just like makes your body weak because we're both having trouble breathing up here. I've had about 18 nosebleeds since we've yeah, got so to the <laughs> It's definitely, uh, definitely a change of environment. We're, I mean, we literally live on the ocean. We live yeah. on the beach, so it's like we're going from zero, ocean like basically level. sea level to where we're at now we also we also saw in like all the shops every bag of chips that gets flown out here that was made at sea level they're all gigantic like yeah. puffed up so you go to the chip the chip section and they're just all like puffed to the max like they're all gonna explode like on an airplane yep all right we just saw a sign for what is it moose falls and crawfish creek is that a creek or a falls oh that's the creek and the falls is on the other side so you think we'll see some moose we could try Oh yeah, that guy's going. Good. That's good. Power in numbers. Don't you reckon? He's coming. He's going to the falls. Yeah, he might have oh, bear spray. Oh, I like when be, I like being alone. But we don't have any bear spray. You got me. Oh my god. We're going on a bushwalk. Going on a bushwalk. Oh jeez. And we don't have any bear spray. I didn't even wear my boots. Nope. Kelly is so scared of bears. Oh my god. Moose Falls, coming off of Crawfish Creek. I had to get off the rock because it was a little bit slippery. <laughs> and it's cold. So cool. This was Moose Falls coming off of <laughs> Crow Face <Beast> Creek. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so slow. <laughs> okay. After you. We forgot to wear our snake boots. 
I know. So that was about a 50 foot hike. 50 foot. <laughs> like nothing. <laughs> like literally to an older couple just walked down there. We're dying because at 8,000 feet. You just can't get your breath. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I mean, we're not like the fittest people in the world, but we're not, you know. Yeah, we should be able to just pop down there, no problem. Yeah, but I'm like. But I'm like, yeah. right. I need a walking yeah, stick. <laughs> Moose Falls off of Crawfish Creek. Yeah, there was it's, nobody it's, there. You're right off the road. You stop, go down there, check it out. Beautiful little waterfall. Takes like five minutes. Yep. 15 for us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it looks like we're leaving Yellowstone entering the Grand Tetons and we got another ranger station up here. Oh yeah. So we'll see what this one's all about. No, so we're leaving the park. They're entering. Oh, so We you... haven't entered Tetons oh. yet. Oh, we haven't. So we're just getting out of Yellowstone. Yeah. So we are at the very top of that where it's red. You are here. And we're going down to Jenny Lake, which is... About uh, halfway down. Halfway down. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to take that. Yeah, we really need to get a map of this next place. Hopefully it's... Hopefully it's like the Yellowstone where they just give you a map and all the information when you So enter. can we drive to that, um, on there, turn them back around. Can we drive to that eagle or that elk? Which way? <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah, and look at the queue. Remember when we came? We came on a Saturday at 8.20 a.m. and there was nobody in the line. Yeah. I know that was the west entrance. This is the south. But it's still not too bad, you it's know. It's not bad, no. And there is a line there. So talking to my mom and Peter, who've been here tons of times, they said that they've seen it inside of Yellowstone in the summertime, where you're just in a constant traffic jam no matter where you it's go. It's like a dead stop. So the whole the whole ride is just a kind of a traffic yeah. jam. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Since leaving the south entrance of Yellowstone, which is about a mile away, uh, it said Grand Teton was, what, seven miles? So now it's five. Five, yeah. yeah. So you basically have a stretch from the south entrance exit of Yellowstone and a seven-mile stretch to the entrance of Grand Teton National Park. And that's what we're doing now. And the drive is just incredible. Look at that. Mm-mm. All right, the excitement is building because we are right outside the Grand Tetons. Yep. As you're driving from the south entrance into the Tetons, you, you just see them in the back. Um, Yellowstone was incredible. It was the best road trip I've ever done in my life. It was one of the best experiences I've ever done in my life because yep. th there's just so much coming at you and it's something I've always wanted to do. I always wanted to go out west and experience that. And Kaylee never doing it before, like us getting to do it together for a first time, it was incredible. We got so lucky with the weather, the wildlife. We got a little bit of rain, but that kind of kept the people away. So I think we just got lucky with everything. Yep. And it it's crazy. it's definitely going to be something, I think it's going to be one we of those like... We have to go like, back. Yeah. Honestly, I could see it being like an annual trip. Yeah. It's like, it's that good. And you could do something different each time. Definitely. But... Yellowstone is in the past now. Yeah. Onto that. Five miles away. <laughs> onto the Grand Tetons. We'll see you over there.